Hey everyone, it's Peter here and today I would like to show you a very cool trick you can do directly in Blender. The thing is you can interactively decrease or increase level of detail like it's done in video game engines. Without any plugins or some fancy stuff, it's very very simple actually. And I will show you how I did it, but first let me show you the demonstration that it actually that it actually works as intended. I have these copied meshes of monkey heads, Susan, and you can see that as I move closer toward the heads, the level of subdivisions are the levels are increasing. You might use this if you, for example, are uh, if you have a very high top high poly environment or multiple meshes in scene and you would like to optimize this uh, to make it run faster in real time, either for real time environments. This is actually a bit different from Simplify because you can brute force uh, max subdivisions to zero, but uh, in that case everything will be low resolution. So yeah, it saves you a lot of performance, but but sometimes uh, for those objects which are in front, you obviously would like to have them in more, much more detail. So I will show you how it's done. If I go away from camera, because um, actually I, I this doesn't work in just viewport, I need to be in camera and camera attached to viewport. So th this is the thing I haven't solved yet. So if you see, if I'm uh, if I'm looking from re regular viewport, it doesn't work. So I have to be in camera and uh, I need to switch this camera to view. This is the way it works now, because basically all it's, all how it's done is each of these head has its own multi-res modifier and the modifier has applied a driver to this level viewport you can do this also on the render, on sculpt, basically as it fits your needs. And all I did is, if you if camera gets closer to the to specific object, the there is the driver, and the level of subdivisions will increase. And I will show you how it's done. I will pin this object here. You can do this also differently, but in in my in my case the Horizontal axis is distance from the object and camera. If you see, if I'm getting further, the distance is increasing. And if I'm getting closer, yeah, the, the value is decreasing, but also the value in vertical axis in, is increased. In my view, the subdivisions are the number two. You can obviously do this much higher, whatever you need. So if you create new driver, I can uh, I can show you from scratch how I did it. For example, here on render, you just uh, add driver and you can pick uh, your variable to be distance. And I'm comparing object with camera. You get a specific number. Uh, the units don't matter that much, but I think maybe it's meters. But in my case, but it doesn't matter because if you if you look here. I also divided it by 10 just to get smaller numbers. And here in level viewport, you actually get uh, you, you get uh, it only works with integer numbers. So it doesn't matter if numbers are float for the in in driver because uh, if I'm getting closer, sorry for the yeah I have this snap. If I'm getting closer, the number is not integer actually, it's uh, even here the value would be, where is it, the value would be one point something, right, uh, the value of actual subdivisions, but since our modifier only uses integers, it will uh, change the number only if we surpass the certain value, so now look what happens if, can I just, uh, maybe, yeah, I can pin it here, now if I move closer, you can see it's not rounding actually, it's still level, uh, ignore this, it's still level 1, okay? But if I surpass, I'm getting closer, if I surpass this 2, yeah, it's, uh, it is changed now. So this is the way it works, you can get one value, like a variable, isolate either position, distance, whatever, and do something with it based on these curves, and this way you can change a lot of things actually and as I said you don't need any plugins for this this is very simple and and each object has its own unique modifier for this because it's comparing its own object to camera so if you 
press shift D and duplicate it or alt D, it will actually work. Because you could also done it differently. You can, for example, make something that only one object will be will matter and all, all other object would switch. Yeah, so for example, if we could do something like if we get closer to this monkey, all monkeys would switch to high resolution, but we don't want that, obviously. We want to have only those which are in front to be detailed. And let me know down below in the comments if you find this useful. I think it can be really useful for, as I mentioned, some interactive uh, environments, where if you want to walk or if you want to animate in some uh, scene with heavy topology and, and high poly details and many objects all around it can be actually useful in my view but yeah uh, write down below what do you what do you think about this and see you in the next video bye